Welcome back to watching Movie Life, thank you for tuning to say with us now. Also, Judy Cruz, an anthology of short stories, has a vibrant slice of life for anybody who dares to pick up her offering. She has hit her stride from the classical The Weight of a Feather to the emotional The Last Sacrifice. A short story collection, The Weight of a Feather, and other stories is a special collection worth reading. She joins me in studio now. Judy, good morning, welcome. Thank you very much for having me, Sam. For the benefit of our viewers, give us a synopsis of the stories. Well, it's a lot, a lot of stories. So, the... well, it's probably better to say that you know, as a collection of short stories, it's about all the stories are about life. They're about love. They're about revenge. They're about prejudice. They're about fear, death. But mostly, what I try to do with my stories is to make them about the resilience of the human spirit. Mm. And that, I think, is what I would like every reader to take away from the weight of the feather: is that at the end of the day, no matter how bad things are, the human spirit always endures. I mean, one of the things that you notice when you do the research and you look at, 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 at just your history, I mean, you had the weight of a feather in the Huffington Post. I mean, that, that's no small feat on it by, by any means. I think it was a bit of luck. Good How luck. did that come so, about? Well, it's um, quite active on social media, and I happened to just come across a comment from one of the groups that I'm in saying, oh, the Huffington Post is accepting short stories. So I thought, oh, why not? Why not? So I submitted this story, The Way to the Feather, and I forgot about it. And two weeks later, I got this email saying, um, I had pet chickens as a child. I loved your story. You're publishing it in the Huffington Press. And I was like, oh, I can't believe it. And um, I think it's because the story captures, in essence, yeah. it's this girl whose pet chickens are taken away from her, and she cuts herself off from love. And at the end of the story, she opens herself up to love again. So there was quite a bit of poignancy in that story. And I think that's what spoke to the editor of the Huffington Post, because those are universal issues. Love is a universal issue. And the fact that the Huffington Post is America, and I'm sitting here in South Africa, love crosses all boundaries. And I think that's what turned the tide in my favor with that story. Why do we love short stories uh, at the moment? Because, I mean, for a while, it was struggling against the long format of novels. I'm a great fan of short stories, because I think today's world is so busy. Mm. You know, who's got time to sit and read 800 pages? And something like short stories, you can start it, you can finish it in a quick time, mm. then you can move on to the next one. You can even put it down after the one story, and, 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 and it's kind of, it's kind of the, the stories that move along with you. When you have time, you can pick up the book again. Exactly, and you, know, you can also read other things in between, but then you can go back and you can pick up a short story. You can read it if you're in a bus on the way to work. You can quickly read one story and you can finish it from the start of your journey to the end of your journey. And I actually think short stories are just starting to ride a wave, and I think mm. they're going to just take off. Yeah. What was happening in your life when you put the collection of short stories um, together? Because for me, I get a sense that some of them could have been longer, um, probably longer formatted, maybe a novel. Yes, I think, um, no, uh, none of these stories I think would have developed into a novel. Mm. Um, what happened was, um, in my personal life, uh, circumstances weren't, um, my dad was ill, so I didn't have time to focus on a long building novel, mm. and I am at heart a novelist. But because of, um, we were caring for my dad, who was a much loved person, and um, I didn't have time to focus, because obviously my focus was on, on him and my mom and everything. And so short stories, poetry, you can write it quickly, you don't have to focus for long. And the short stories just developed out of that. And some of the stories, I like flash fiction. So that's, a lot of people have said that, that some of the stories were too short for them. But um, you would never believe this, but sometimes I talk a little bit much, and I find, <laughs> <laughs> I find in my short stories that in my writing, I like to push myself to try and write as tight as possible. Because you think of Ernest Hemingway, um, his best story to me is that short little seven word story, for sale, one pair of baby shoes, unused. I mean, how emotional is that? I mean, that is just, in so few words, he has said so much. And that is why some of my short stories, I try to keep them short to try and get as much emotion in as few words as possible. And it suited my personal circumstances as well, because I didn't have time, to sit I didn't down have uninterrupted time. hours to sit and write a novel. Mm. So the short stories and my poetry volume that I brought out last year were sort of a rose out of that, and also trying to challenge myself to write tight, even if I can't speak tight. <laughs> which one do you prefer? Because you're one of those, those uh, writers that seem to fit in every box. You mean which genre do you have to yeah, writing Yeah, you do the poems, you do poetry, you do short stories. And my first love is novels. No, no, no. But I surprise myself, if I say so myself, I surprise myself with the short stories because um, 
the last sacrifice in this story, which a lot of people, you either hate it or you love it because it's quite a brutal story. Yeah. But in actual fact, um, I was invited uh, by the Elephant Press in the US to submit for an anthology of uh, apocalyptic stories. And I've never written that. I said, forget it. I used to write romance. I write about love. I write about life and all of those things. I don't write horror and apocalyptic stories. And I thought, well, why not? Let's try it. And I surprised myself with that story. Judy, we're going to leave it there, but thank you very much for joining me. This is definitely worth getting. Uh, that was author Judy Kroon with her anthology of short stories. It's called The Weight of a Feather and Other Stories. It's available in all good bookstores. Let's head over to that one.